What's up, beautiful people? In this video, we will be building a, a wooden contraption that's gonna help with watering my grow bags, okay? Let's get to it. What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Ba -ba 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 What's up, beautiful people? In this video, like I said, I'm also excited because it's been a while since we had the miter saw out in a video on this here channel. However, the garden calls for it, and so I'm gonna have to whip out my old gardening, or not gardening, but my woodworking capabilities to make the garden a great satisfaction. But nonetheless, what I will be using are some two by fours. I have some tarp that I picked up from the store, and what I'm gonna do is first build the square box, then put the tarp, and then we're gonna put it out there in the grow bag and then I'm gonna water it okay with the whole idea that knowing that grow bags are just like permeable with out, you know saying that as you water it's just gonna flow down right and so a lot of water and nutrients are lost in the whole watering process which is why it is useful now I'm just throwing this in there is useful to fertilize your grow bags with granular type fertilizers as opposed to your water soluble type fertilizers but nonetheless with all that being said this contraption will probably help us in that whole situation with the idea that as you water boom it goes to the whole water catcher and then it's able to soak up as necessary and also so there's some other cool benefits for this whole situation if it works out well so I'll save it to the end if it does work out I'll share those things then but nonetheless let's go ahead and build this bad boy and let's get to it and go ahead and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel how you doing my name is Ricky we are trying to get to a hundred thousand subscribers by the year of 2022 and when we do we have a great announcement just for you all right y'all let's go ahead and get it to it all right great people so i've already went on ahead and measured out just to make sure all the four sides are even which i probably should have had two longer than the other and so i would have some extra excess and things like that so now we're going ahead and laying it down and remember when using and doing woodworking projects to pre-drill your holes when possible and so that was something that obviously has been a while since i've done so i've been out of the loop on how that bad boy goes but nonetheless we are screwing the wood pieces in together. So, doing it bit by bit. Take your time, y'all. From this point, just gonna open up the here tarp area. Well, tart tip <laughs> um, that I had. I forgot what I was going to use it for. However, this now becomes the uh, more suitable situation for it. I want to make sure I have it with this being the first piece. I can uh, do less cuts, but nonetheless, what you want to do is make sure you have some give in it so that it can fit as a well scenario. All right, so let's cut around it. All right, so now that we have it all cut, I'm just gonna tuck it in here like so, like you would uh, some aluminum foil in a baking dish. <laughs> Uh, but what I will do is make some, do some nailing in here. Let me see if I can, boom, boom, boom. Start there. All right, so let's nail this in here. I wish I had a nail gun. Wait, I have a staple gun. All right, I still do need a nail gun, but until then, I'm going to use my handy dandy staple gun. For this particular project. And so I'm just gonna staple around the edges. So obviously we're not going for the, uh, you know, home and decor look. We're going for the more functional approach for this first round just to even see if it works. 
However, from there, we'll be able to, you know, drill in on making it look right, making it look fancy and all that good stuff. Or even having a better way of doing this. This is actually something that came to mind. So what we do have is a protector lining that will allow for the water to sit in here. So let's go from here to the garden, put a grow back in, and then we're gonna water it. Let's just see the results. All right, so now we have some fertilized water, well, some water with fertilizer in it, some um, good old fish in motion. So ideally we'll be able to water like so, without a care in the war world knowing that what does run off will run into our holder let's see yep water's already going down in there i see that you all can see it because i'm looking <laughs> through the camera as well the water is already going in there and what will happen is that as the water goes down and water is necessary or needed it'll be able to wick up through the whole grow bag scenario again for the needs of the plants and so we have some kale, some beans. Beans didn't quite make it through the frost of Florida, but nonetheless, the kale definitely will, and the garlic as well. But I do have some beans that I could plant, so why not plant those? There's always beans growing around in my garden. So boom, let's water them in. Now we have a water wicking reservoir. I'm happy, I'm happy. I'll definitely keep you all posted on how it's going in the garden going forward. Ha! With that being said, I'm excited about what will take place in this here water wicking, water reservoir catching for my grow bags. And if it does work out well, I'll do a longer version of it with my whole grow bag situation, which is right along the front of my here fence area. So obviously that did well today. I'm gonna just watch how the grow bags respond to it and making sure there's no like, you know, water buildup or water substance that comes along the bag because of it. Um, but with that being said, hey, I might just put a long two by four down here, run it, connect it and do the same, okay? And so, hey, make sure you stay tuned, click the bell notification, subscribe and all that good stuff so that you are aware of how this here situation goes and how I may extend it and how maybe you should extend it so that you can water and have your grow bags watering themselves even as you go. So here's a fun fact that I was going to say. If this, I believe it's going to work out well because it just did, but nonetheless, this works well if you are going on vacation and maybe you don't have somebody to water your plants while you are gone. What you could do is fill in the reservoir area, you know, um, I think well, two by four so obviously four inches that is there you can fill that bad boy up with water so that while you are gone the water can wick up and you don't have to worry about your plants drying up drying out or anything like that but water will be there for you as you are gone on vacation think free enjoy yourself because your water or the water will wait your plants are getting water while you're gone so hey that was a cool little fun fact that i wanted to share but i want to make sure i did share it but nonetheless with that being said i love you all i appreciate you all and remember you don't have to garden by yourself but you can always garden with me and there is a website i'll put down below of our gardening business that you can take part in be a part of and we will help you out through it okay until next time peace love you <laughs>